Hi, welcome to Nav's Comics. Hope you survived the experience. I hope I survived. I probably say that every time when I, when I film part four. Uh, these are the indie titles of my October comic book haul. So let's get right into it. Um, I say indies and I know people like they're not into whatever. There's a whole argument about independent versus underground and all this, whatever. I'm just referring to the non DC Marvels as indies. And that's what it is. So this book I did not order and I received it and I need to check to see if, if I didn't receive something because they've done that before where, uh, well actually the damage replacements where I got good luck number one secret foil variant or luck variant whatever instead of number four uh so i got arch okay archie horror chilling adventurers and sorcery number one one shot and i thought oh well if it's free you know maybe um you know but it and they just threw it in but no it's a four dollar book so i don't know what that's about um yeah, so I'll, I'll look to see if I'm missing anything. All right. Speaking of good luck, here's number five. Still don't have number four yet. I guess it's on order to, um, to replace the damage. And because this is a, a slog of books here. House of Slaughter, number one. And I went all in. I got, well, I didn't go all in. Well, it depends on your definition definition of that. But I got three copies of issue one, cover A. And then I got, I don't, I don't know, it's just B, I'm not sure. I got a variant. And then I got a foil variant. I got two foil variants. So, all right, so I got, the, I, you know, I saw that one as I was opening them up. And then I see this one. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is red, not purple. I, I looked it up. It's like... I think they call it intermixed foil variant, where the purple one is the regular one, and the red one I believe is one in ten. So I didn't pay extra for it. And if you I just checked eBay, it's a very reasonable price if you wanted to buy one. But uh anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool that I that I got um that I got the two different foils. So I am looking forward to reading that book. I'm excited for the whole something killing children, House of Slaughter, the new TV show. Like I, I just love the story. The I bought it. Like to me, it lived lived up to the hype. Um, here we have Spawn number three twenty three, <clears throat> King Spawn number three. Pretty cool cover. I like it. Um. To, well, I guess I have Gunslinger. Usually I try and like order them in a certain way, but I really didn't here, I guess. Crossover number nine. And here we have New Burn. Uh, it's an image comic from Chip Zdarsky and Jacob Phillips. I believe Jacob Phillips is related to Sean Phillips, the artist. Uh, son of, maybe. Um, I love Sean Phillips' artwork. Uh, but I got two, two copies of this. <clears throat> And here we have Dark Blood number four. This is a six issue miniseries. And unfortunately, I like number one. I did not like number two at all. I did so, so much so I did a review on it, kind of blasting it. Uh, but I already had number three on order. So I will read it. We'll see. Like, if, it, if it's as annoying to me as issue two was, which I read like half of it and gave up, I didn't want to spend any more time on it. We'll see if I end up reading this one. Um, I mean, I'll definitely start reading it and just see where it goes. Oblivion Song, number 34. Not sure, I'm, I'm curious where uh, Kirkman's gonna end this one. I don't see this one going on uh, for a long time. Jupiter's, Jupiter's. <laughs> Uh, Jupiter's Legacy, number five. Oh, sorry, Jupiter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jupiter's Legacy Requiem, number five. <clears throat> the I think I, I read issue four. It was all right. It's sort of weird. Like they're going to like have these aliens, uh, alien superheroes, whatever. It's just I'm sure I'm sure it'll, it'll all come together. Here we have Department of Truth, number twelve. 
this series is just great. It's just a great read. A little bit sometimes uh, text heavy, uh, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna take these down just so the last ones can go up there. So Gunslinger Spawn number one. I love this cover. Although I'm a fan of Brett Booth, and I think the McFarlane inks just kind of accentuate it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I got three copies of that. Oh, uh, no, two copies and then a McFarlane copy. To be honest, I like the Booth one better. Uh, this one I ordered sight unseen. I didn't I didn't know what the cover was. Um, it's okay. Here we have Magic Order 2, issue number one. I read I read Magic Order number, uh, the first series so long ago, like you know, well years ago anyway. I don't really remember too much about it. I do remember really liking it, so hoping I like this one as well. Uh, I was trying to think if it's like it might be another. I think the, the other one was like a four or six issue series. I'm guessing this one will be the same. Uh, Firepower number seventeen. Just so very very fun read. It's kind of the opposite of a fun read, but uh, really good, it seems. Ma, number two. Um, this series deals with sexual assault. Uh, and issue one I thought was really good. And so I'm very curious to see where issue two takes us. Uh, I can't remember if this is a mini. I'm guessing it is, but I don't know for sure. So that is it for my independent books for the month of October. So... Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the books I picked up. Uh, let me know if there's any out there that you absolutely love that you think I might enjoy just my my way of been talking about things. Um, but yeah, anyway, and also, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, means a lot to me. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.